They locked the door to a church? Are they serious? What if I need to do something holy? Like commit vandalism? Even she's sick of hearing the damn bells. I'm gonna have to break the lock. No, wait. What are you doing? All those years of watching Heart to Heart are about to pay off. What is that? It's my gym card. You joined a gym? Yeah. When? After I had Rory to lose the pregnancy weight. Did you go? God, no. I was way too fat. <gasps> oh, praise be to him. And all the little lambs that frolic the earth with their frankincense and myrrh. Will you get inside. Okay. Boy, would it kill God to dust? Okay, now just hold the flashlight. Do not do any moving spotlight gags or point it at me. You know, freeze, drop your weapons. <laughs> How about if I shine it on the wall and do a dirty shadow puppet show? Just stand back so the lightning only strikes you. So. Uh, what's the game plan here? Personally, I was thinking we could whack the bells really hard with a hammer. Uh, you don't break bells with a hammer. Okay, I'm out. What's your plan, Clyde? Well, I was thinking we could just jam the turnbuckle or wedge the main mechanism. Just for fun, disconnect a few of the clappers. Contrary to popular belief, you don't have to break every bell. If you just damage a couple, say the Tierce and the Prime, you pretty much ruin the set. You must have been the top of your class at Hunchback School. Well, just say you could spend your whole life waiting for bells to fall into disrepair. Sometimes they need a push. <gasps> no way! You broke the bells? You're welcome. <laughs> it's a little narrow up there, so we should just take the tools out. We need to leave the box down here. God, these things are heavy. Don't you have a smaller toolbox? No. Why would I have two toolboxes? Because then you'd have a big one and a small one. Well, if you have a big one, you don't need a small one. And don't say dirty, it's too easy. Hold these. So, um, why wasn't your toolbox at your new place? I needed it here. Huh. Usually, moving requires lots of tools. You're hanging things, putting things together. Nicole hired a professional picture hanger, and we didn't have anything to put together. Hand me a screwdriver. Phillips or Flathead? I know things. Phillips. Luke, how come you told me you moved? I did move. Well, you may have moved, but none of your stuff did. What are you talking about? Uh, hand me the open-ended wrench. <sighs> Luke, I was in your apartment. It's exactly the same. No, it's not. I just think it's weird you're pretending you moved when you didn't. I did move. Luke, your bed wasn't even made. So? There were dishes in the sink. There was some kind of shake in the blender. Mega Man protein powder on the counter. Remind me to mark you for that later, by the way. Can we talk about something else? Or better yet, let's not talk and just get this done. Does Nicole think you moved? Of course she thinks I moved. I did move. Do you sleep there? Of course I sleep there. When was the last time you slept there? I lived there. So, last night? Yeah, I had an early delivery and it didn't make sense to sleep there. The day before? I was there for dinner. And after dinner? Nicole was getting a sore throat, so it made sense to go back to my place and not get sick. Your place? My old place. You didn't say your old place, you said your place. Well, I meant my old place. Luke, you don't live with Nicole. Yes, I do. You watch her TV, you eat her food, you keep stuff in a duffel bag at her house. You're a rude guest, not her boyfriend. Husband. Whole other discussion. You know what? You're doing it again. Doing what again? You're passing judgment on my relationship with Nicole. I'm not passing judgment. You passed judgment on our marriage, you passed judgment on our divorce, and now you're passing judgment on our living together. I'm not passing judgment on you living together. You're passing judgment on you living together by not living together. You know what? I was a little tipsy on that cruise ship, but I don't remember anyone pronouncing as husband and wife in Lorelei. Well, they may as well have, because I spend as much time with Nicole as you do. And the judgment's back. I could move in with you guys. You wouldn't know. You know, none of this is any of your business. It's absolutely my business. How? Because I wasted a week of my life adjusting to the idea that you had moved, only to find out that you haven't How much moved. adjusting did you have to do? Nothing's changed. I still see you every day. I still cook your food. I still serve your coffee. What do you care? I care. Why? Because I don't want you to move. Why? Why don't you want me to move? Lorelai? Luke? Oh, thank God. Carry on.